Nope, just the cheese. I might explain why it's stuck so badly. Yeah. Hello! If we're talking uh, effects of card tricks here, um, I always myself prefer the snap change. It's a little bit more direct, and um, I've also found a tactic that if you actually have the, de if you're actually holding the deck while you're doing the snap change, it makes it a lot more fluid. So this way, people don't detect the secret. Here's what I, you'll see what I mean. See, I take here the standard king of spades. When I take it up towards the camera, lo and behold, it turns into the jack of diamonds. But you probably didn't catch how I did that. Here, let's try that one more time. I'll snap it. Turns into the ace of hearts. Sorry, screwed that up. Snap it again, turns back into the king of spades. So now here's what we do. We take said king of spades. Remember, it's still the king of spades. And one, two, three. And there it goes. Now I did it slowly there in the hopes that you might catch that. I'm going to try it one more time again fluidly, just so this way you can see how it works. That's it. Jack of diamonds. And in case for those of you who still didn't see it, if uh, you're newbies and uh, didn't see it by my slowing it down, the snap change consists of me pushing on this card, but as you can see, I'm actually holding this card back here. Now what's cool about this trick is that the problem with, with doing this trick when it's on its own is if you're holding the card back here, the king of spades, you're often likely to worry about this getting caught by a certain angle. But if you do it in front of a card deck, say for example you have the jack of diamonds here and you want to turn it back to the king of spades, if you do it in front, then as you're swooping down, you can put the last card on top of the deck and nobody actually ever thinks to check there, meaning that they think that your card is actually transferred from one card into another. Very convincing illusion, especially if you're holding the deck for it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, like I said, I don't like the turnovers because uh, um, I don't like the turnovers because of the fact that with the turnovers you can't hold the other uh, the rest of the deck. Um, snap change, you can do that, and then you can get rid of the and then you can jettison the previous card to get rid of the evidence. So um, yeah, that's one of my more effective. Uh, that's one of the more uh, my more favorite versions of the snap change at any rate. So, I hope you guys enjoy. And um, yeah, that's a little tutorial on how to do a trick. Tools.